Alright, what's up everyone? It's Justin Lee here, third year DPD student at Azusa Pacific University. Uh, today's topic is talking about how to make some money while being in DPT school. And this video was inspired by a video request from Nick Hopkins. What's up, Nick? <laughs> um, asking about entrepreneurship mindset and what it might look like prior to PT school, especially as a personal trainer. Now, first things first, if you are going into DPT school, I highly, now listen up, I highly recommend that you get certified as a personal trainer. Because what you do in PT as, as a physical therapist is so in line and interlinked with what a personal trainer does. And you can make some easy money while being in school. So if you're watching this video and you haven't gone to school, or you're about to go to school, study for an exam right now and get certified. Trust me, it's gonna help you. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about me and how I'm making some money right now um, so that that can preface on what I'm about to get into. Um, I'm in DBT school right now and throughout my whole time, I've been working as a personal trainer. I have an online business uh, for Lift for Change. Here's some uh, apparel, Lift. Uh, I'm gonna put that description below so if you wanna help support, help a guy out, pay tuition. And, um, and along with that, I also have been working at several gyms. Now, let me also say that I am not currently making any money on YouTube, which you're finding this video in right now, but these videos are an investment in the future so that later on, as this channel grows, it's gonna be a, another source of income for me as well. So please help support your homie and help me pay this tuition and get out of debt and get out of debt and get, 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 get out of debt. Working as a personal trainer, having an online business, selling some apparel and all that stuff has fortunately been enough to help sustain me for daily living. Now I do take out loans for tuition, uh, but everything else, I am pretty much able to sustain for our family, except, <laughs> except, <laughs> Except, <laughs> this is really big, except the rent. <laughs> Thank you, sugar mama, my wife. <laughs> okay, but besides the rent, uh, we do have an income from her, but um, I'm able to make enough money to sustain uh, what we eat and what we do for our uh, entertainment and travel and things like that. So uh, money is pretty good. All right, so let me tell you a little about how I'm making some money. And first off, we're gonna talk about uh, my personal training stuff. So I currently work at Foothill Gym in Monrovia. So if you work around or if you live around the Monrovia, Arcadia or Doherty area and you're looking for a personal trainer, hit this guy up. Um, and I work there now, but prior to that, I also worked at Orange Theory Fitness and at Village Fitness. So if you have a certification as a personal trainer, you already have a leg up because there are so many gyms around literally anywhere you go, not only in Azusa, but just literally anywhere you go. There's gonna be a gym, there's gonna be someone looking for a personal trainer um, or a recreation coach or whatever. You have that certification, use it, make some money off of it because it's good money. So working as a personal trainer is awesome because personal training and physical therapy is like, like this, like they're like homies, they're best friends. And anything you learn in physical therapy school, you can directly apply it to personal training. And the best part is that what you learn, you apply it right away. Because personal training, yeah, you're about, you're trying to like get your patient, your, your patient, you're trying to get your client to uh, get closer to their fitness goals. But along with exercise as a PT, you have that eye, even though my eyes are small, I try my heart to keep it big, uh, to see movement faults. Like if they're lunging and their knee is collapsing, you don't really know that as a personal trainer, but as a PT, you'll recognize that. So now as a personal trainer, you're like, all right, hey, keep that knee straight. Try not to let it buckle in. Um, and you're doing a great service for your client because now you're helping to prevent further injury down the road. So that's just one quick example of it, but PT, personal training, go hand in hand, get your certification. I'm advocating for this because this has literally been the backbone of all of my understanding, my clinical reasoning, and I feel like it just helps me practice literally what I learn right away, and it just helps me 
excel in everything that I do. All right, so personal training, all that stuff, Okay, that's another video. If you want more information about that, comment below. Say, hey, talk more about your personal training stuff and I'll make another video about that. But that's enough of that. Let's talk about my online business. So lift for change. 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 Can you change what the change is changing? Lift for change. So lift for change is something that I've had like the name of it for a little bit um, as I just started this whole like online uh, fitness, like education stuff. But Lift for Change hasn't really launched as a brand until I started DPT school. And the reason behind this was I said, hey, I wanna start something where I need to make some money because I'm gonna be in a lot of debt. And my wife or my fiance at the time was like, hey, I wanna get fit and I want to do this challenge that someone else is uh, promoting. Like, what do you think? Should I pay hundreds of dollars for that? And I said, why are you going to pay hundreds of dollars for that? I'll just make you something. So I created this challenge, the Live for Change challenge, that hashtag LFC challenge uh, to for her. And then it eventually kind of became this thing where it's like, whoa, like I can get so many other people doing this because they have similar goals. And then now it's this online platform where um, you're getting workouts, you're getting counseling, you're getting coaching, you're getting nutritional guidance. You're, I'm keeping track of your calories. And it's this bundle of like, just this bundle of everything that you need to get to your fitness goals. You're logging your workouts, you're logging everything, we're keeping track, and we're having video chat sessions to make sure we're accountable and staying on track to what your goals are. Uh, so that's the hashtag Live for Change challenge. Uh, I'm gonna put that link below as well if you're interested. We are starting in May, uh, the first Monday of May coming up. So that's coming up soon. If you're interested, sign up um, in the link below as well. So this online business, Live for Change, I created it in a specific way where I can be literally anywhere in the world at any time. And it's just something that I built and designed so that in 10 years, I can still have this same system going and it'll still work out. Um, but that took a lot of time and processing to really uh, organize all of that. But that's just the way I designed it and I'm really proud of what the product is. All right, so let's talk a little bit about mindset and talk about how it can help in your entrepreneurial journey but also be just as relevant in being successful as a DBT student. So the first thing that is super important is being able to have a, a futuristic mind. Um, and what I mean by that is our emotions tell us that we want to just do something now. Like, oh, I'm tired, so I'm going to sleep now. Um, or I'm, I'm hungry, so I'm going to go eat now. Um, and a lot, I feel like a lot of people live that way based on emotions and their behaviors are um, put into actions just based on how they're feeling at that moment. But in some ways that can actually help, that can actually make you go and take steps backwards. So for example, let's say you have an exam coming up next week and then you have this party on the weekend, your best friend's birthday party. And you're like, oh, I really wanna go to that. But this exam is a lot. Like I have to really study for it. And you're kind of coming near the weekend. It's like a Wednesday and you should have been already studying, but you didn't because you're kind of procrastinating. And then right now you're sitting down after class and you go, oh, I'm so tired. Uh, I don't want to do anything. So then you take a nap, you Netflix, whatever. And then the day goes by and you're like, ah, I have Thursday, Friday, whatever the weekend, right? Um, so as the time comes, now it's the weekend, you haven't really studied too much, maybe opened up your, uh, your notes for like a quick hour, and then it's the weekend where your, your uh, best friend's party is coming up. So you have this decision, do I go to the party or do I not go to the party? Or if I go to the party, that means it's less time for me to study. So right here, you're already setting yourself up for failure because you did not think ahead when you were tired at that moment before. Now, what does that mean? So at that moment, this is the mindset that I'm going through in my head. I'm at, it's after class, I'm tired, but I know that I have this party and my exam later on. And I go, okay, I have to make this decision to start studying now 
because I know I have this party to go to and I know that after the party, that's gonna take time away from me and even after, I'm gonna be a little bit more tired um, and that's gonna take more time away from my studying. So I, even though I'm tired right now, I have to grind, put my foot down and study because then later, I can now open up my schedule for my friend and for whatever else is to come so that it also gives you a buffer room so that you can now relax your mind for the exam to come. And I don't know about you, but I'm the type of person where if I procrastinate, if I study the night before, it just gets mumbled, mumbled and jumbled up. So I have to make sure I study uh, like kind of days before so that the day before uh, the exam, I'm a little bit more calm and so that I can help, I can focus a lot more when, they, when it's time to go for the exam. So having that futuristic mindset is huge. I cannot emphasize this enough. You have to have a plan. And I talk about a GPA game plan in my other videos. Um, and that is just something that you absolutely must acquire to be successful and to open up your plates for more things like work, uh, business and friends and, and just hanging out, like everything. Okay, so this backing, this futuristic mindset, this thinking is huge because now you can always anticipate what's to come. You can plan out what your day is gonna look like, when your training is gonna come, when you're gonna work on your YouTube videos or when you're gonna work on your online clients. And so then it frees up time later on so that you can either rest, you can either have some self-love, self-care, whether to whether that's going hiking or hanging out with your friends or you can just continuing you can just continue to grind and grow your business so that you can make more money later on uh, which brings me back to the whole topic of this video um, planning is like one of the biggest skills and that futuristic mindset is one of the biggest skills that i've learned to master so that it can increase the capacity of what I'm able to do, the volume of what I'm able to do. Um, and I feel like if you can master that, Nick, I'm looking at you, talking to you, and other students or other people who are interested in this whole entrepreneurship mindset, having that futuristic viewpoint is gonna be the game changer. Um, and so please, please, please try to practice that. And let me know, you guys. Comment below. Tell me how things are going after a week. Try it out. Um, and if you have more questions about any of that, please get in contact with me so I can get in contact with you and we can talk about what's going on. And along with that, I do take video requests. So if you have any questions for me about uh, pre-PT, physical therapy, lift for change or fitness or anything like that, comment below um, and I wanna make a video for you because chances are if you have a question, someone else in this world is gonna have the same exact question. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Nick, thank you for your uh, comment below on, on um, uh, the suggestion for this video. Um, if you found this video to be helpful, please share it amongst your friends, comment on anything that you might find interesting or you just wanna uh, make a remark on something. Thumbs up, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great one, you guys.